We can get legendary armor from Wodus's vault, and in this video, we will learn how to do that exactly step by step. As we are watching, if you found the guide useful and you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and leaving a like as this helps the channel. The first step is to get Gift of Battle, and the only source for it is the reward track from Wardus's Vault panel that says Gift of Battle Item Reward Track. When you finish this reward track, you will get the Gift of Battle. Even if you don't do Wardus's Vault that often, you can still do the dailies to get the portions of Wardus's Vault rewards, and whenever you consume this item, you will notice that your reward track started progressing. So just keep consuming until you are done with the reward track. It takes a total of 80 of those potions to finish a reward track from the beginning all the way to the end. And keep in mind that while you are finishing the Gift of Battle reward track, you will also get two Mystic Clovers along with some other items that you may find useful like the Amalgamatum Gemstones and some Obsidian Shards and such. And once you are done, just open the chests and you will find the Gift of Battle in one of them. I have another guide that I have done in the past that explains how exactly to get those potions even if you are someone who doesn't really do World This Is World that much. I will leave the link for it in the description and in the comments. Next, you want to talk to Miani, which is the NPC right beside the Mystic Forge in Lion's Arch, or any other NPC besides any Mystic Forge in any of the passes like Mistlock, you will find the item we want, which is Eldritch Scroll, in the first tab, and it will cost 50 Spirit Shards. All the rest of the items will be bought from Waldus's Vault, and most of them will be from this NPC, Legendary Commander War Razor, which you can find in any of the Borderlands. When you talk to the vendor, Look at the fourth tab that says Legendary Components. The first item will be the Glob of Condensed Spirit Energy, which will cost another 100 Spirit Shards. And then you want Certificate of Honor, which is going to cost you 500 Badges of Honor, and you will also need Certificate of Heroics. And this item can be bought by either Proof of Heroics or Testimonies of Heroics. Don't buy both items, they are just the same, they use different currencies. Only buy Buy one of them. So for now, I will buy it using Testimonies of Heroics. If you are short on badges of honor or those heroics, while you are doing World This Is World, you will get those items called skirmish chests. When you double click, it will open a window that looks like a vendor. And the bottom two items are going to be the badges of honor and testimonies of heroics. You can exchange those skirmish chests with the items you need. And the last item we will buy from the vendor is the legendary war insight which will cost you 1095 skirmish tickets. You get those skirmish tickets from the chests you get while you are doing World This Is World in the pep reward track. And now we will buy our precursor which you can buy from any of the skirmish supervisors on any of the borderlands. When you talk to the vendor, go to the second tab that says Triumphant Ascended Armor and you want to pick the item you need. As you can see, I have all of the skins unlocked and so I can buy all of the items. However, if you are going to do this for the first time, you may not have all of those items available. If any of them was locked and you want to unlock it to be able to buy it, you need to unlock the corresponding item from the Triumphant Armor box which you can get from the Triumphant Armor reward track. Only when you unlock it from the chest here first, you will be able to buy them from the skirmish vendor. For our example, I'm going to craft the chest piece from the heavy armor set, and so I need this item to be unlocked. However, if it was not unlocked for me, I have a chest here as an example, the Triumphant Armor box. All I need to do is just double click and then find the heavy chest piece and then I will click on it and then accept, which will give me the item and it will also give me those other rewards. But now I will unlock the skin and I will be able to buy this. As you can see, the item itself will cost 3 gold 
And then some skirmish tickets depending on which piece you are trying to get. In our case, the chest is going to be the one that costs the most. So 350 skirmish tickets. And then you will need 250 memories of battle, which is also another item that you get while you are doing World vs. World from various sources. And you will also need some of those Grandmaster marks of certain disciplines based on which weight you are trying to get. So in our case, I'm trying to get the heavy piece. And so the discipline requires will be the armor smith mark you can get those grandmaster marks from two sources the first one is from the same skirmish vendor in world this is world the same one that we just bought the precursor from when you talk to the vendor go to the last tab that says miscellaneous and then the very last item it says box of grandmaster marks and it will cost you 10 Grandmaster Mark charts for each one of those boxes. So I need 4 marks, so I will buy 4 chests. Keep in mind that the number of marks depend on whatever you are crafting. So for example, a chest is going to require 4, but maybe uh, shoulders are going to cost 3 and such. So pay attention to the number of marks you need. But now that I have the chests in my inventory, I can double click and it will give me all those options to choose from. And remember the one we needed was the armor smith mark. So I will just choose the armor smith mark from those chests. Those grandmaster mark charts which you can use to buy the chests for the box of grandmaster marks. You can get them as a final reward from the final chest in the bronze, silver and gold chests while you are doing gold this is gold from the pip reward track keep in mind that you can also craft those grandmaster marks from the corresponding disciplines so in our case i can get the grandmaster armor smith mark by crafting them from my armor smith and for that i need to be at least level 500 and those are the components you need to unlock the recipes in the first place, you must buy those recipes from the bling vendor that you can find in the Mistlock Sanctuary or inside Fractals. And you will need to buy the mark for the discipline you need. Each one of them will cost 10 pristine Fractal Relics, which are the ones you get when you are doing your dailies in Fractals. You will also need this last one for any of those marks because buying this recipe is what will enable you to craft each of those subcomponents. Without them, you will not be able to craft those items. You should also know that you can buy them directly from the trading post if you want to, although of course they are going to cost more than it would otherwise if you would craft them. Before we buy our item, which is our precursor, now that we have all the requirements, I want to show you another item which is the Mistforge Triumphant Ascended Armor. This is basically the exact same item as the previous one, and it will also be a precursor. It will also be ascended just like the other one. However, it is going to be unlocked until you buy the normal version first. So in our case, if I go all the way down where I need to buy the heavy chest piece, I see that it is unlocked for me. That's because I did not buy this item first. But once I buy this one, it now unlocked that skin for me and I can buy this item. However, as you can see, this is going to be much more costly and it will require much more skirmish tickets and much more memories of battle. Another important thing to keep in mind you will only be able to buy the Mist Forged set if you are at least rank 500 in World vs. World. The only difference is the Sublime Mist Forged item is going to have those glowy things coming out of your back. However, it will only show if you do not have your outfit enabled. If you have your outfit enabled, it's not going to show up, but only it will show up if your outfit is disabled. For me personally, I'm someone that uses outfits most of the time. So having this extra feature of those glowy things coming out of the back was not necessarily important for me and it didn't really justify all the extra costs for it. But of course, if it is useful for you, by all means, go for it. Keep in mind that the chest piece is the only one that have a significant difference from the others. You can preview how each set of armor looks to be able to see if the extra cost is worth it for you or not. You can do that by going to your bank 
and then the last step where it says wardrobe storage make sure you are on the armor skins and then choose whatever weight you want in my case i'm going to go light since i'm on my necro right now and you want to type triumphant hero in the search bar this is going to show you both versions, the normal one, which is the Triumphant Hero one, and then the one that will cost extra, which is the Mist Forged. The set you see in front of you right now is the normal one. Now I will clear preview and I will show you the Mist Forged one. This is the full set of the Mist Forged armor. As you can see, the only difference really is just a little bit of glowiness that happens. So if this was worth the extra cost for you, by all means go for the Mist Forged set. You will also notice that when you try to preview the Sublime version, unfortunately it will not show those tentacles and most of the time it will bug out. That's because you actually need to be in combat to be able to see them. Before we continue to the next part, Please don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to see more similar content in the future. The next step will be crafting some gifts. And if this is your first time, you will need to buy those recipes from the NPC beside the Mystic Forge. Go to the second tab that says Mystic Recipes, scroll all the way down, and they will be the only ones in Exotic. You will need all 8 of those recipes. So this is an extra 80 gold at the beginning. However, once you unlock it once, you will not need to buy this recipe again. So it's a one time thing. All of them will require you to have either an artificer or a huntsman or a weaponsmith at level 400. Once you unlock all the recipes, you can go to your crafting station and you can type gift. This is going to show you all the options you have of some gifts that you unlocked by the recipe from Miani or the Mystic Forge NPC. But keep in mind that some of those recipes are going to be for other legendaries that you may have crafted in the past. In my case, I have one of the gifts here, Gift of Energy. This was required for one of the legendaries I have crafted in the past. So be very careful which gifts you craft. Don't just go one by one and craft because you may end up wasting some gold. All of the gifts will work exactly the same way. They will need 100 of the tier 6 material, 250 of the tier 5, and then 50 of the tier 4 and tier 3. Once you have everything ready, you want to craft just one of those gifts. So we are going to craft them one by one together now. Once you craft all the gifts, go to the Mystic Forge and you want to put a Gift of Clothes, with Gift of Scales, with Bones, and with Fangs. This will give you the Gift of Condensed Might. And then you want to put Gift of Blood, with Gift of Venom, with Gift of Totems, and Gift of Dust. And this is going to give you the gift of condensed magic. Once you are done with the gifts, you can then craft an item called Cube of Stabilized Dark Energy. And you can craft it if you have level 500 in Armor Smith or Artificer or Huntsman, Leather Worker, Tailor or Weaponsmith. The ingredients you need will be Bowl of Dark Energy and Stabilizing Matrices. You can buy those stabilizing matrices from the trading post directly if you want, but you can also get them while you are doing fractals, especially from the dailies. As for the bowl of dark energy, you get it as a lucky drop while you are crafting some ascended stuff, like rings or accessories and such. However, if you don't want to gamble, you can get a guaranteed drop by salvaging an ascended weapon or armor that you have crafted. Based on the current prices, you will find that the core Tyria ones are most likely going to be the cheapest. Usually one-handed weapons or things like gloves and boots are the ones that are cheapest to craft, but again that can change based on the current market prices. So always check the prices first before you craft if you are going to get your bowl of dark energy directly this way. So we will craft one together now. And once you are done, you will just need a few extra items. 
you need 15 mystic clovers, 50 obsidian shards, and 250 memories of battle. We already explained where to get the memories of battle from. As for mystic clovers and obsidian shards, I have video guides on them that I have done previously, and I will also leave the links for them in the comments and description. And now that we have everything we need, we are going to start crafting more items. We will start with something called Gift of War Prosperity. And to craft it, we need is a Gift of Battle with the 15 Mystic Clovers we spoke about, and then is a Gift of Condensed Might and the Gift of Condensed Magic. Once we put them together, you are going to get the Gift of War Prosperity. Next, we will craft the Gift of War Prowess. For that, we will need to put the Eldritch Scroll with the Legendary War inside with the 50 obsidian shards and the cube of stabilized dark energy that we just crafted together earlier. We forge them together and we get the gift of war prowess. And next we will craft gift of war dedication. For it we will need the certificate of heroics with the certificate of honor with a glob of condensed spirit energy. All of those items we bought from the vendor earlier from what this is what as I showed you with the 250 memories of battle. We forge them together and we get the gift of war dedication. And now we are just going to put our precursor, which in our case was a triumphant hero breastplate. I did not get the sublime version one. I will just put it together with the gift of war dedication, with the gift of war prowess, with the gift of war prosperity, forge them. And this is going to give us our legendary piece of heavy armor. And as you can see, because it immediately is going to go into your armory, it is going to give you this piece of lore about the uh, item you just crafted. And then we can click on show PVE equipment. It will open the heroes panel as you can see, but because I'm in my necro, I can't see the item yet. And if I look in my inventory, I will also not see it there. But once I switch to one of my heavy characters, for example on my guardian, I can now see the piece we just crafted, and I can use it like any other legendary piece. And if you don't know how the armory worked, I just made a video that explained how the whole system works in details. I will also leave the video for it in the comments and description below. Remember that now legendary armor with how the armory works is extremely useful, and especially with the ability to customize and change stats on the fly. So for example, maybe I want Berserker now, but then later I want to change this to make it Minstrel, whatever you want to do. Again, you will find all the details about what exactly can you do with Legendary to work with Legendary Armor, which makes it extremely useful in details. What I just showed you now is just one of the things that you can do with Legendary and Legendary Armory. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.